it's weird because, you know, to say that you have cancer is really strange, but then I have this really interesting story to tell with it, and it actually helped. Kitty Kane had cancer of the appendix. It filled her abdomen with a jelly-like substance. He described me as looking like marmalade, and it uh, was a uh, cancer. Fortunately for her, there is a treatment available in Spokane known as interperitoneal chemotherapy. Some call it a chemo wash for the abdomen. These are surface cancers that we're treating that tend to shed off inside the abdominal cavity then float around and then stick down on the surfaces. And so once we clean out that cancer or debulk that cancer, um, then there's going to be microscopic cancers in there. Dr. Ryan Holbrook with Cancer Care Northwest was the first surgical oncologist in the western United States to perform this procedure, which begins with opening the abdomen for a meticulous examination. Systematically go through everything and, and you know, there are certain things that we can take out, you know, intestines and gallbladder and appendix and uterus and ovaries and, you know, even a spleen if we have to. If cancer is present on other organs, they work to remove it. When we debulk the tumor, when we, we call it cytoreduction, we try to reduce the cells down to no visible tumor. That's our goal. Then the chemo solution is circulated through the abdomen and actually massaged into the organs in an attempt to kill any remaining cancer. If you put the chemotherapy right there and soak it, we heat it up to about 41 to 42 degrees centigrade and... Uh, soak it there basically, we circulate it uh, for an hour and a half or 90 minutes and that will penetrate a few millimeters into the tissue um, and will help uh, kill those cancer cells locally. For some patients this treatment has bought a lot of extra time. For others it saved their lives. For the appendix cancers themselves you can still have a 70 to 90 percent you know greater than five year survival versus what used to be usually measured in months of survival. Even for some of the harder cancers that uh, are very difficult to debulk, um, some of the colon cancers, which again, survival used to be measured in months, now we're having about 55% three-year survival, but that's very different than three to six months. Dr. Holbrook says this treatment has been around for decades, but only recently has it hit the mainstream. The number of centers that are doing this has just blossomed in the last two years, up to probably now about 35 or 40 centers, but you know, over half of those have shown up in the last couple of years. Kitty Kane is happy there's a center in Spokane. She's cancer free. The hope is that it's gone and if it comes back, well, you know, I'll do whatever Dr. Holbrook says. <laughs>